Ladies and gentlemen, at the risk of sounding like a broken record, virtual reality is the future. Well, we keep being told that, as I've said many times. And NVIDIA, Gameworks, VR is now partnering with Epic. More specifically, it's going to be integrated, incorporated right into Unreal Engine 4. And the whole purpose behind this is to improve, naturally, the virtual reality experiences that Unreal Engine 4 games managed to put out. Now, as a bit of a background to this, before we read out the exact quote, there are a couple of methods to improving any experience in terms of graphics. One is a brute force approach. In other words, you improve the hardware. The hardware has more memory, has faster processors, runs at higher clock speeds, and that naturally improves the performance, the maximum performance levels that you manage to wrangle out the system. The next, which is more akin to what we're seeing here, is a more finesse approach. We've seen this many times over. For example, we've seen situations where the GPU won't render surfaces which are being obscured by the camera. We're seeing things such as color compression, which obviously compresses the size of textures and other data in the image, which naturally improves the efficiency of memory bandwidth and also reduces the size of data in natural memory as well. And many other techniques are being put together, for example, DirectX 12, we all know about, the, the so-called miracle child of, uh, direct, of uh, APIs. Naturally, it's not the only low-level API. We've got Vulkan and, of course, Mantle, which I guess you could say was the, uh, the father of all of these new APIs, which um, low-level APIs naturally improve the um, performance of graphics cards and your processor by allowing multi-threading as well as numerous other techniques. So this, in many ways, virtual reality, from Gameworks virtual reality, to be more precise, is an extension of that. At VRX 2015 conference in San Francisco, they announced, NVIDIA, that they are partnering, once again, with Epic Games. So, how does it work? Well, it's known as multi-resolution shading. How this basically works in a nutshell is that Depending on the part of the image, certain areas of it will have lower resolution compared to the center. Now the benefit because of this is that virtual reality is extremely, extremely, extremely intensive computationally. So because virtual reality headsets warp or distort, or distort the peripherals of an image, multi-resolution shading saves graphics workloads and theoretically you won't really notice the image quality is being reduced. Now Nvidia is saying that it's going to provide up to a 50% speed up in, U in Unreal Engine 4. That's a lot of speed up, to be honest with you, that's absolutely massive. And when one considers immersive PC um, virtual reality can take about seven times more performance than a standard 1080p 30fps image, you can start to see the reasons. So for example, the, real, the um, example that NVIDIA are providing is that a standard 1080p 30fps requires literally seven times less computational power than virtual reality running at 3024 by seven by 1680 excuse me so i'll repeat that because i messed up 3024 by 1680 at 90 frames per second now the key here is that 90 frames per second as many of you are aware higher frame rates particularly when dealing with virtual reality are, are well not even important they're critical and it's not just because you start noticing, you know, a little bit of latency or you start noticing the cinematic quality of 30 FPS. No, 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 no. It's primarily down to latency. And it's a major problem with virtual reality set headsets as is. And quite simply put, the higher the resolution, the less latency you get. And latency, by the way, isn't just down to having the game run at a high frame rate. It's even down to how fast the actual hardware can predict your movement. So let's just assume, just for the sake of argument, that you're looking dead ahead. Um, literally straight forward at a imaginary dot in front of your vision. Well, imagine then that that dot, you want to start looking to the right of that dot. Well, if, for the sake of argument, 
the hardware takes a few seconds or you know milliseconds longer than what it should do to start registering your head movement your brain is then going to say uh what the hell is going on <laughs> moving my head you know we're moving i know that i'm moving my head but my eyes are telling me that the dot is still right there in front of me what the hell is going on and of course then you're going to be like on this little catch-up thing where a moment later you will start to see the the imaginary dot move it's a bit of a weird thing to explain but i, I imagine you can kind of understand what i'm getting at here the bottom line however is that this would naturally cause problems when it comes to motion sickness and other such situations and it's a really big problem and it costs a lot of processing power now this is just one of the ways that um gpu manufacturers are starting to get around this we've all heard about uh, amd with the liquid um liquid vr which is once again another way of reducing the input latency in, in in amd's case they're going to be for example using asynchronous compute engines which are going to reduce lag and nvidia obviously are going to have their own methods to also reduce lag so this is just one way of saving uh gpu performance now i'm all for it obviously in reality how much of a difference it actually makes in terms of raw quality i guess you could say will probably depend upon numerous things including your eyesight for example your peripheral vision but if it's not that perceivable and it probably isn't then i'm all for it nvidia however are being extremely hopeful and very aggressive what they personally believe is that because of their well i guess you could say they're, they're obviously going to feel confident in their own hardware right but anyway they predict that the pc um, VR ready PCs are going to grow from 5 million, which is obviously today's figures, 2015, to 130 million. Now, once again, this is VR ready. So it doesn't necessarily mean that those systems are being used for virtual reality, those 5 million today. It means that they are ready for virtual reality, which is obviously a distinct difference. It doesn't necessarily mean install base doesn't necessarily mean it's being used for that well you know the geforce 980 power pc of today is being used to file tax returns for the sake of argument but it's kind of a cool thing at least in my opinion there's a lot to do with virtual reality and honestly we're not going to see virtual reality be fixed or become the next big thing overnight despite the claims in the media in my opinion it's going to take a couple of years for really this technology to move forward part of that is gpu technology we've been stuck on 28 nm for some time we've had bandwidth constraints for some time and various other problems i guess you could say which have caused very slow adoption even apis have been a bit of an issue but now we've got so many developers behind it we've got gargantuan players in the industry like once again nvidia amd microsoft um valve even epic everyone wants virtual reality now it's not whether virtual reality can happen in two or three years time because i think the technology is pretty certain that it will exist very shortly it's how many people are going to play on it i wonder how many gamers are going to make it their regular everyday way of playing a game now in my opinion not every game is going to work that well with virtual reality i think certain games certainly will be amazing like imagine fallout 4 virtual reality that would be pretty epic right horror games perfect for virtual reality but some people are just not really sold on it and honestly i don't blame them i think some games definitely lend themselves more to the standard 2d experience at least for now but who knows what's going to happen in let's say four five ten years time well with that said hopefully you've enjoyed the video i'll see you soon take care bye for now